All right. Convert 750 milli, uh, millimeters to kilometers. So this would be millimeters right here. Now, for, for some of us, especially if we're not using the decimal, it may be easier to convert this into meters first and then kilometers. So here's what I mean by that. So first, I'm going to multiply this by something divided by millimeters. And specifically, I know how many millimeters are in a meter, right? There's a thousand millimeters for every one meter. But then I would have to do another conversion, dividing this by meters to cancel out those. And now I'm looking at kilometers. And there would be a thousand meters for every one kilometer, like this. Now again, I can look at this as fraction multiplication, where we're going to cancel out our millimeters and our meters so that we end up with just kilometers. And I've got 750 times 1 times 1, which would be 750. And then in the denominator, I've got 1 times 1,000 times 1,000, which would be this very large number, 1 million. Now, if I put this in my calculator, I should get the decimal value for this, which looks like it should be 0 0.12375. And of course, we can get this using the other method. We've got 750 millimeters. And on the chart, millimeters is as far to the right as we go. So we got millimeters, centimeters, decimeters, meters. And we've got decameters, um, hectometers, and then finally kilometers. And then we can see that we're moving this decimal one, two, three, four, five, six times to the left. So this is where the decimal is. We just didn't have any decimals after that. So we can show this moves one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're just filling the empty spaces with zeros. And that gives us the same exact answer. One, two, three, seven, five. If you want that last zero on there, you can put it there. But it's not necessary. 